Hey everyone, so we finished up the last video of this series with a deployment from the AWS Marketplace of Veeam Backup for Microsoft Office 365. As you can see, pretty much just rolling straight into this next demo and what we're going to do here. So we've done the day zero or day one deployment, but we've not done any of the configuration yet. We All we did here was just finish some, some update and if we go back into VBO now, we're going to still see that uh, that's still empty, empty organization, empty backup infrastructure, etc. So what I want to actually show, and you'll see here that I've up uploaded a PowerShell script that is going to do all of that work for me. So just to run through that script, I've moved or uploaded this up into my GitHub. Um, and just to walk through what this what this is doing. So first of all, we want to define what our organization, what our Office 365 organization looks like. So we're going to define the username, the password, the organization. And then I'm also using the MFA or the new new style authentication. So I'm using an application ID that's linked to my account that allows me to add an app ID and an app secret. And again, when that's shown, I'll because obviously you can do this manually as well. So I'll walk through that afterwards as well. Also, I want to use an S3 bucket. So this script alone is for uh, that all-in-one AWS example. So everything is going to be living in AWS, the VBO server for management, but also the um, S3 bucket that we're going to back up directly to, and the local repo will obviously be part of that Windows machine that we've previously just deployed. So then we need to define that local folder so local repo. So even though you might have seen on the last video that one is already there, you can't edit what's already there. So we have to remove it to be able to add a new one. But you're going to see that shortly as well. Combine it all together. So we're going to convert the strings, etc. so that it works in, in our PowerShell script. We're going to add the organization. We're going to add the object storage. We're going to add the backup repository and remove the old one. We're then going to create jobs. We're going to create a mail job. We're going to create a OneDrive item job, a SharePoint item. I'm going to show you this. It's a very quick demo. Um, we are then going to define the path, the host name, etc. We're going to use a, um, a certificate. And the reason for the certificate is for the RESTful API service that I also want to, to trigger. And a bugbear of mine, but I put this into pretty much every single PowerShell script that I have is the enhanced security configuration. I want to disable that. Obviously, you can omit that if that's not what you what you want. And then for the purpose of the demo, because otherwise I'll forget, is I want to actually start that and show you that Swagger UI or just really give you the idea of that we fully expose the API at the end, but that's really just a reminder to that. So if we go over to that machine again and we run this, notice how I, I've grayed out all of the important uh, security stuff. And again, by the time this goes online, this machine will be gone. The key pairs will be gone. So none of this will be accessible from the, the internet if you remember the the security flaws that we that we added in. Okay. So that's a pretty good start. If we go back into here now, we're gonna see our organization, you're gonna see those three jobs running. Whilst that's running, I wanna come in here and I just wanna walk through this organization. So we have decided what we're going to deploy. Now this could be a hybrid or it could be Office 365. I think that's something that we potentially don't talk about enough from a Veeam uh, backup for Office 365. And we're going to be protecting both Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, as well as OneDrive. We're gonna choose the default region and we're gonna use the modern authentication. This is where we add our application ID, and obviously there's a password and certificate in there as well. And we're gonna grant this, we're gonna use the same. So 
So this should be running. Oh, there's one good good sign. Then if we go down into backup repositories, so this is an all-in-one server, so we have the default backup proxy. We haven't changed this at all. So if we go into the backup repository and the object storage, so first of all, we've removed the default backup repository that was there, and we've added this object storage repository. If we go and look at what this is, and I've done videos on walking through this as well, so we could have chose the S3 compatible, we could have chose Azure Blob Storage and IBM Cloud, but we've in this instance, we've chosen the, the S3. We've used our um, account credentials. We've said where it is. We've said our bucket and our folder, and that's it. And then we've gone into here and we've taken that local cache backup repository, and we've given it a name. We've pointed out where that needs to be on this, on this server, and then we've define that we want to offload the backup data to object storage. Now, for the purpose of the demo, I didn't encrypt that data, but obviously, yes, you can. And then we've chosen our retention policy. We've chosen item level retention over snapshot based retention. Again, there's another video that I went through the, the detail of both of those. And if we go back up to organization now, at least those jobs are, are running through. So it just really shows that if you combine these two videos, so the day one deployment and configuration and installation, if you like, and then couple that with, or how do we actually start protecting and backing up data? There's that script from a GitHub point of view, but I know there's some on Veeam Hub as well, and I'll get this onto Veeam Hub as well, so it's shareable. Um, and then the final thing to show is more around the Swagger UI Again, I haven't set anything up, but this gives us the ability to everything you see within the actual the VBO UI, you have the ability to leverage the, the RESTful API to be able to do something with that, whether it be through pushes or gets. But yeah, that's what I really wanted to show. So this is this is really capable from a so this is obviously the AWS marketplace deployment of VBO and the configuration of VBO that same script that I've created will will also give you the ability to run the configuration on any VBO server. So although I've used AWS as my object storage, if I wanted to use the, the Azure marketplace deployment and then use that configuration script, I could absolutely do that as well, or even roll in your own on-premises Windows 2019 box we can run that configuration skip script there. Let me know if you've got any questions. I'll put all the links in the in the uh, description below. Yeah, let me know and hit me up on Twitter. Awesome. Cheers, guys.